Hi everyone, welcome back. So this week I want to talk to you guys about the difference between the long iron and the hybrid. So very often when I play with a lot of my students, I see that they always struggle hitting those longer shots into long par threes or par fours or even par fives. So they will always reach for their longer irons but always have very little confidence with them just because they appear to be longer um, and they're just more intimidating to hit. So in this video, I'm gonna share some techniques that you can use to hit your longer irons and your hybrids um, so that you can start to utilize them more because if you're not utilizing these then you're at a big disadvantage and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you are visiting my channel for the first time please subscribe to see more golf related content in the future okay so i have a three iron and a three hybrid here so i'm just going to explain what the differences are between these two clubs first so with longer irons, it'll typically require the golfer to swing it a little bit faster than a player that would use their hybrids. And the main reason for that is because the bottom of the club is not very wide. Okay, so there's not much of a weight kind of behind the face. So that's going to make it a touch more difficult for the ball to launch higher in the air. Um, also, when you look down at an iron, typically because there's less loft and there's not so much of the club head behind the face, um, it'll appear very, very small, okay, which can be uh, an intimidating factor to a lot of players. Now, with the hybrids, because of the way it's shaped and the bottom is thicker and there's more weight behind the face, it'll typically be much more easy for the player to get the ball in the air. So even though both of these clubs have the same number on it and are set to the same loft, because the hybrid is designed in that way, the hybrid will launch higher and spin more. Okay, so now that you know what the differences are between the hybrid and the long irons, I'm going to explain how to swing the long irons first um, and go over some misconceptions that I hear about. Now, when it comes to the long iron, we know that you have to swing it faster in order to get the ball in the air with these clubs. But the misconception that I get a lot is that people hear that they have to brush the ground more with the longer iron. And that is true to a certain extent. You're obviously not going to take a huge deep divot with the long iron, um, like, a, like a wedge or, or a shorter iron, but you do still have to hit down on it. So when people hear that advice, they take it too literally and they actually intentionally try to miss the ground. And when that happens, they actually start to hit too upwards on the golf ball and not enough down. Now the second misconception has to do with ball position with the longer irons. Now, a lot of people have heard to place the ball more forward in the stance in comparison to a 7 iron. And yes, that is true, but there's no need to put the ball position too far forward. When someone says further forward, they mean ever so slightly. Okay. Now, you may notice some lines that I've drawn um, on the mat here. And if you don't know what that is, I have a video about that on my channel. It's called The Grid. You can go ahead and check that out. But this grid system will help you determine where the ball should be positioned in your stance. So with a four iron, I have it positioned very similar to where I would put it with a seven iron, if not maybe half a ball further forward. Okay. Now with these lines in this position, I have the ball right on this second line here. I can place it maybe just a half a ball forward. Okay. Not much at all. Um, it, even if you didn't want to change the ball position, I'm totally okay with that. So it can be in the same position as a seven iron, just slightly ahead uh, of middle, okay? Now, the visual checkpoint that you can use is that would be just, just about an inch to the left of the buttons of your shirt, okay? Or just further forward of the buttons of your shirt, okay? Now, once the ball is there, you have to hit down, okay? Everything is very similar. Another thing that a lot of people think is that you have to swing it differently than a seven iron. It is not different at all it is very much the same okay so you still want to hit down you still have to have the intention of hitting down you don't want to intentionally try to hit up on the golf ball the general rule that i tell everybody is that if the ball is on the ground you have to hit down on the ball to some degree with every club okay so with this four iron hitting slightly down very similar to what the set with, with the seven iron swing is like So I hit the ground there pretty aggressively. I didn't have no intention in my mind to try and brush the grass or anything like that. There will still be a little divot um, when I'm playing outside on the grass. Now with that being said, if you do feel like you are hitting down on it, 
you're making pretty good contact, but the ball just comes out very, very low, then looking into a hybrid may be something that's best for you. So if you are struggling with the longer irons, then using a hybrid can be a big advantage for you. So like I mentioned previously, because of the way that the, the head is shaped or designed, it's going to help you launch the ball higher with more spin. But the other thing that's really advantageous of a, of a hybrid is the safety net that you have in terms of um, the forgiveness at impact. Okay, so with a hybrid, again, you don't want to intentionally try to hit up on it. You still want to hit down on the golf ball. But again, because the bottom is much wider, the, the club won't dig into the ground as much. Okay, so just allow the design of the club to help you instead of intentionally trying to um, you know, hit up on the golf ball. The club itself is going to make that happen. Okay, so again, I wouldn't change the ball position or anything like that too drastically in comparison to where a 7-iron is. Okay, again, you can place the ball slightly more forward, um, just like a half a ball forward. Um, I, I've also heard a lot of people try and tilt their bodies more behind it. But uh, again, I, I wouldn't do that um, just because... Again, tilting your body this way too excessively, again, is going to make you intentionally try to hit up on it. So, And we, we don't need to do that. All right? We still want to hit down, but allow the design of the club um, to, to make it more forgiving for you. Okay? Now, the reason why the hybrid has become so important for a lot of beginners and amateur players is because... If you are a player that does tend to hit up on it or has that urge, then you're still going to be able to get the ball in the air. Okay, Because the bottom is much wider and the club won't tend to dig into the grass as much, you'll have that, that forgiveness of hitting the ground first but still being able to pop the ball up high in the air. On this shot, I'm going to intentionally just leave all my weight on, the, on my trail side and I am going to bottom out kind of behind the golf ball. And you'll see that the ball doesn't really dig into the mat very hard. Um, I know it's, it's on the mat. I wish I was on the grass. But in Singapore, that's kind of a luxury. But you'll see that when, even though I hit the ground, I can still launch the ball very, very high. If you were to do that with a longer iron, um, the ball is either going to dig into the grass and the, and the clubs the, or the ball is going to go just three feet in front of you. Or if you do miss the ground, um, and hit kind of the, 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 the top half of the ball, then it's just going to be rolling along the ground. But with a hybrid, you have that safety net. Okay, so with this shot, if I leave everything on the trail side, right, I can still get the ball launching really, really high. You know, you're still not going to be able to hit it perfectly if you, if you obviously chunk the grass really far behind the ball. But there's just a bigger safety net with the hybrid in comparison to the longer iron. Thank you so much for watching. So if you can incorporate some of the things that I mentioned in this video, then those longer shots into par threes, par fours, and par fives should be a lot easier, and you should be able to get it closer to the green a lot more often. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss if you want to inquire about online lessons, and I will leave my website in the description box below. And other than that, see you guys next week.